Welcome back guys to another Kingdom Hearts episode. Now, this is actually an interesting thing for me, and you guys can feel free to comment or subscribe and pr give me any detailed information you guys think about this after this video is released, but my thing is, the question is on a lot of people's mind now is, can Marvel characters actually fit within the Kingdom Hearts universe? Now, my general answer is no, because unlike Big Hero 6, which was specifically re released by Disney and Man of Action Studios, it's the fact that the characters from Big Hero 6 are CGI, so technically they're based in a, char in a child's perspective. And Kingdom Hearts in its own is exactly a kid's game. So specifically, to keep it kosher, I don't think that there's any specific Marvel character that could fit right with Kingdom Hearts. I mean, in general, as you can see in the picture, there's a number of Avengers surrounding a single picture of Sora, which makes people believe that there will be more Marvel characters within the Kingdom Hearts universe. My thing is, no. Because there are there are way too many action related characters in the in the Marvel universe to even begin to contemplate that there would be a character put into Kingdom Hearts 3 other than Big Hero 6. We all know Wolverine cannot be put in Kingdom Hearts because I mean Wolverine's prime objective is his instincts only to take over whenever he feels like it. He can't put the Hulk in Kingdom Hearts 3 because it would be rather stupid for you know, Hulk to be a either a summon character or a ally within Kingdom Hearts 3 because it would only make probably he would just be an all out smashing character would only be used for so much. And Captain America, maybe Captain America could fit in it, but I honestly don't think so because there's always an unnecessary amount of issues with whether they want Captain America, whether they want Black Widow, Iron Man or even Spider-Man at this point. So me personally, do I think do I think more Marvel characters deserve to be in Kingdom Hearts 3? Honestly, no. Because when it comes right down to it, like if Sora teams up with another Marvel character that's not Big Hero 6, I'm only going to think that the Keyblade that he earns from completing that level will be complete crap. You know? Or maybe it'll be maybe the Keyblade will actually be called the Avenger or whatever. Something stupid like that. And it'll probably be a keyblade shaped with the A at the end of its at its stock. And I was thinking, like, no. Do we really need more Marvel characters in Kingdom Hearts 3? I would say yes, but there's that there's a handful of characters that only some people will understand and some people are fans of. But if I had to take a guess, I would either want to see Iron Man, Captain America, or Spider Man within Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean not as just support character stuff like that, more like, you know, actual roles within the series and not to mention we all know that kingdom hearts kingdom hearts has you know star wars characters that they can put in not to mention they have more pixar movies they can put in so even if we do not get more star wars we get star wars characters we could get finding nemo versions we can get all types of versions that a lot of people are thinking they're probably gonna be stupid but this is kingdom hearts i mean kingdom hearts is always exploded our minds with the unexpected characters they put in their games so in my in my opinion i think that there should be more marvel characters and mostly just because marvel fits you know big hero 6 proved that and even with these new characters there's even more initiative now so even with this new concept art that was released for kingdom hearts 3 to feature baymax in san Fran, Tokyo. We still have no confirmation whether what role will Baymax play or is he a summon. And with that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time in another Kingdom Hearts commentary.